Satu Dave. Rocking the Graham and Satu on Satu Day, of course. Also in the pocket. 229. I did the molding or the radius on the handles and the reblast and the handles and the studs. And this is the no screw clip. No screws exposed. You know what I mean. <clears throat> That's why I'm rocking day on this Satu Day. So this is going to be a long one. So you're all new, like Lefty, Javon, Allison, any Ali Pagacord, any of those people sent you my way. I appreciate you joining us. This is an announcement for the 1K giveaway. I'm a rambling. I talk a lot. So if you're not familiar with me, you're going to have to sit through probably a 20 or 30 minute video to get the details. But that's just how I roll. <clears throat> Hopefully you'll sit with me, at least watch this one, endure this one. Uh, so I've never really pushed the whole YouTube thing, right? So it's pretty much been like a, you know, a natural growth for me, but I've been doing this thing almost three years, I guess. Um, and you know what? I've gone through different, I guess, sort of collecting things, collecting journeys, whatever else. I was a huge ZT collector for a while, kind of dumped all that, got sick of that, kind of moved on. Like, But I've always been into the big bruisers things. <clears throat> and the last video I did when I showed a bunch of knives that Steve Clare lent in and I broke them all down. It's like four or five American-made knives. I can't remember what that name was around Christmas time. I put that out. <clears throat> I made the comments like I always do that I hate when companies, mostly Chinese companies, hollow out the titanium, make it light. My brother Mitch, Mitch Bowling, <laughs> commented back, hey man, 95% of the people out there like it that way. You're the 5%. So my 5% brothers, I got you on this giveaway too. We're going to do something crazy and different. <clears throat> uh, but I'm in no disillusion that a lot of the people that are going to jump in for this giveaway are probably just going to be here for the giveaway and then gone tomorrow. All fine. All good. Honestly, I don't even care if you subscribe. If you want to, cool. If you don't, hey, that's... Save me the, <laughs> save me the blowing up and then shrinking back down kind of thing. If you you just want it for the giveaway, I don't care. It's fine. I don't care. Whatever. <clears throat> but my Bruiser brothers, y'all know, y'all know what's up. Anyhow, um, so I think I'm gonna do this a little bit differently as far as like you know most people just say hey, let me know you're in it for this drawing or giveaway or whatever you wanna call it and and be done with it. <clears throat> uh, I think what I wanna do is you get a knife, you give a knife. Meaning, I'm 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 gonna give you a knife. Package as a knife, actually, is what we're probably gonna do here. <clears throat> and when you get this knife, I want you to give away to someone else, community, hopefully someone else that is a more of a random person, because you pretty much are all random people to me. Uh, I mean, we might know each other in comments, but as far as like you know, in daily life, if I walk past you, you might recognize me, but I'm probably not gonna recognize you, right? So that's what I mean by that. I want you to give away another knife out of your collection. It doesn't have to be of equal value. Like if I give you, I don't know, some of these knives are pretty valuable, but say if I give you a more expensive knife, I'm not asking you to give away another expensive knife. I'm just asking you to give away one of your knives. Like even the modest budget collector, I got some stuff in here that you might be interested in. Uh, you might not too, I don't know. But if you get one of these knives, give them one away your other ones. Like it could be a random dude at work that needs a knife. I don't care. Uh, maybe bring somebody else into this community and spread some of this. Let's make a ripple effect from this giveaway, okay? Because this is multi-thousand dollars. Uh, I had to discuss it with the wife and make sure she was on board with all this stuff, but I think we're all good, man. So uh, it's going to be crazy. So that's what I'm going to ask you to do. If you're not willing to do that, then please don't enter the giveaway. And obviously it's just a honor system, but you know, this whole knife community has pretty much shown me that there's a lot of honorable people still left in this world. Sometimes the outside world gets jaded and we get, you know, feeling differently. But <clears throat> here, amongst us, we're all brothers and sisters. That's what it should be. Fun. It shouldn't be about the competition. Um, I, I, it's, it's not about the money. This is not about the money. This is just about me wanting to get back to you guys. Um, hey, I reached a thousand. I, never, I honestly... Didn't know if I ever would. Didn't really care. Um, this channel is mostly my knife journey. So those that are on board lately for the regrinds and done that, interested in that, that's cool. It's just part of my knife journey, right? So when we switch and do heat treat or machining, you might not be interested. And you might bail and somebody else might join. Is what it is. I'm good with all that. <clears throat> um, so let's just spread the ripple effect. Get a knife, give a knife. Cool with that? All right. Now, the other thing I need you to decide is, are you that 95% people that prefer a lighter weight knife? Um, or at least most of the time, or are you that 5%, like myself, I'm just going to 
one name I that that I know for sure. My brother Jose is the same way. Like we always carrying bruisers. Like any day of the week, hit me up. You'll see. I always got something big in pocket, and I usually got something smaller in this pocket. Most of you guys are gonna think the two two nine. The average person thinks two two nine is a huge knife. This is a very small knife for me. Uh, so it is what it is, right? <clears throat> we all different. We all like different things. We're all different in our knife journeys. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, let's do this first. So I don't really have, nobody has given me anything to get me this way as far as like progression in YouTube and that sort of thing. I do have a code for EDC Roundtable. Uh, Joe hit me up a couple weeks ago and said, hey, we're doing codes for a couple couple creators. We want you to be one of them. And uh, I thought, sure, cool. I mean, I've ordered stuff from Stevie. I've ordered stuff from um, Lancelot Leather. Um, and I have some stuff from Forrest. I didn't actually order it. It was gifted to me. But And I was like, well, how can I represent them if I don't even order stuff for them? So I figured, well, I'm going to order stuff for them. I knew this giveaway was coming. So we got a few items from them. So we got uh, from Joe. And I bought these. They didn't give them to me. I got my. I used my discount code, which is SATU10, all one word. Uh, advise you to go to the EDC Roundtable. And it's only for stuff they get stock. But it's EDC Roundtable. Um, you can find everything there. I'm not promoting them more than that. I'm just saying... There's a code if you want it. I get nothing out of it. But I got a couple clip slips from Mr. Joe. So black with red. I'll go over what's in them in a minute. Uh, this all black clip slip from Joe. Uh, Stevie sent some. Uh, it's the Beard Oil. I think this one's, I can't read it because I ain't got my glasses on, but I think it's the Pacific Northwest scent or something like that. I'd order some from Stevie while I vote. The reason I don't use it as much is because he has, he puts more oil in his. And if you ride a motorcycle, especially one with a fairing that blows the fairing up in your face, if you wear a full face helmet like I am, you can imagine oil across your face does not work out that well. So I had a bunch when I ordered from Stevie, but I pretty much have used it sparingly over the years. Uh, I think a year, I don't know when he started. When did the EDC roundtable start? Y'all tell me, I don't know. But as soon as he started selling beard oil, I bought some from him. I just don't use it as much because I have that problem. I doubt most of you will. <clears throat> uh, from Forrest, I ordered a All American Skull Flank uh, Hank, rather. Um, and there's other people on the EDC Roundtable. These are just the ones that I ordered from the guys that I knew in the community. <clears throat> so all that's part of the giveaways. But let's go ahead and go face down and do this giveaway the thing that i was getting at a minute ago is 95 percent or five percent when you tell me you're in on this giveaway i need to know you're 95 percent in or five percent in because there's going to be different giveaways i'm going to make it mm, more tailored towards what i like or what you like kind of thing all right all right so i'm going to kind of do this i think in groups and it's not necessarily that i want to pick right here what goes in all three groups i want you guys to pick what you want and i'm gonna do it basically like the first draw the second draw the third draw the first guy gets his pick of what he wants out of these things but i'm gonna show you an example of all three groups <clears throat> so uh we already went over at edc roundtable uh next is allison from alley paracord donated so all this stuff has been donated i did not pay for that this is the only thing on this whole giveaway that is not coming from my pocket so this is her monkey fist what you call a ball tapper, whatever they're officially called. Uh, basically a key ring with the with a lanyard or whatever you want to call it. Um, extra paracord for the tying of whatever you want. And let's see if I can open this without being an idiot here. Uh, Demco neck knives. Uh, I don't know the model name she told me and I forgot to write it down because I'm an idiot and that's my normal thing. She made these basically a paracord with like the dog tag type clasps little paracord at this neck knife cool little setup man badass setup so we basically got those uh for three different packages and i'm just gonna set this aside right now to not be too cumbersome we got those in red the green and then the brown setup so basically that's all they're all three the same just different colors um and with each package i want to do at least one type of um, bruiser and one type of slip joint these are all slip joints that this one here in particular this is once again the lance a lot lance a lot leather if i can spell it out here uh, clip slip and inside this one is a ohio river jack this is actually gifted me by um mitch bowling so i guess i didn't pay for this particular knife although it has been in my collection for quite some time 
all these, none of these are new. These are all been in my, I've either had them or they've been storing them or whatever else. I, if you want new, go buy a new one. This ain't new. Uh, whatever. Uh, so a high river jack, and this was in the, the jig tie. So it goes in that clip slip pretty good. Like me personally, how I would carry that is I'm going to carry it just like I carry tip up. I carry left pocket carry with my slip joints especially. So I'm going to go around the left pocket. That's how I'd personally do it, but whatever. There's one um, slip joint per package. The next one's another Lancelot clip slip. This one there is the Lake Champlain Barlow, which is also that um, full titanium with the uh, saw cut slip joint. I'm not really a slip joint guy, so I don't know how I ended up with three of these things, but we're remedying that right now. We'll give it away to you guys. And lastly is from Advanced Knife Bro, the stump lifter. And I can't remember the name of the leather crafter. I totally apologize, but he made the clip slip to match. So you can see the stump there that matches the shield on this guy. So one of those. So with the guy who gets the stump lifter with this one, I'm going to go and throw in the beard oil from Stevie so that you got one thing from the EDC round table on all of your three packages. Um, so nice. So we're going over the, the what do you call it, um, slip joints. We're going to go into the bruisers now. So each one of these packages, like you get a choice. So this is the PMP Max Ace Titano. This is actually a really fun knife to play with. I just don't, I have a lot of other choices that I'd rather carry besides this, quite honestly. Uh, but fun knife. Great one for the collection. And the reason I'm choosing this for a 95 percenter is, once again, it's hollowed out on the inside. And also, this seems like a knife that I've seen a lot of the, I'm going to call you normal people, um, tend to like because it's just so ridiculous. And it's cool to have in your collection. You will pick it up. You will play with it. Uh, whether you actually use it or not, I don't know. I have. I liked it. I've carried it. I've loaned it out. They've liked it, so <clears throat> it's a cool knife, man. But it comes all the packaging, all that stuff that normally comes with it. And I think all if it's all there, good. And if not, you get whatever's in here. How about that? <clears throat> Next to be a Max Ace. This is actually out of all of these, this is probably the the one that I like probably the best that I'm giving away for these 95 percenters. Was this called Sandstorm? Um, and this is the plain tie without the dimples or whatever the carbon things. I did. Aluminum oxide, the blue off of this and this. Uh, it was originally that kind of blue, not my thing. <clears throat> so I knocked the blue off of it. This does have a little bit of a chip right here, but like I said, not new knife, just close to new. Um, Sandstorm's a good knife, integral or integral, however you want to say it. Um, still damn good knife. Comes with all that Max Ace stuff for that one. And the last choice will be another Max Ace, which is the Titano. Or not? Is it Titano? Titanus? Whatever. It is. I got. I can't read it. You can probably read it. Titanus. I think is what it is. So, Titano, Sandstorm, Titanus. That's kind of confusing, huh? All right. Anyhow, uh, this is a ridiculously huge knife. Both the Max Aces to me have ridiculously. Even the the uh, the P and P Titano or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they all have. These are all on bearings. Have ridiculous action. This one is damn near dangerous because once it breaks here. It's coming, man. There's like, you almost got to do a sideways close on this one. It's like turn it sideways and then close it. Uh, but yeah, it's a beast, man. But it still has good action. Uh, it's a bit ridiculous, uh, even for me. And I think that boils down to skill set. Uh, your scab talk about that a lot on Choir Boards Outdoors. But like, it's when you get a bigger knife, it's unwielding to you. It's because you're not familiar with it. Don't use it. I haven't used it long enough to become familiar with it, right? And that's pretty much. I'm not going to say this is going to be the best box over ever, but, you know, if you got the skills to use it, you see my hands are big, right? So I can pretty much get up to the tip and, you know, do what I need to do with the tip on this one. It's just all about what you get used to in the knife. So even for for me personally, for this one, this is kind of out of my comfort zone. This is kind of where I get to like, man, it's kind of not really practical for me. And I had actually talked about doing a blade chop on this one, but you know what? Let's give away one of you guys. Not an inexpensive knife either. Um, so your choice on the 95 percenters, you're going to get the slip joint, you're going to get a bruiser, and you're going to get an alley paracord kit. Uh, I have random stickers. Like, I have a whole heap of stickers. Uh, you know, that's just a handful of them, but I got a whole heap of stickers. Whatever ain't on my wall, I'm, I'm going to put one on my wall for everything. Once it's on the wall, I'm, whatever I got left, I'm going to throw in a package, and I'll kind of split them up. <clears throat> also got some little random wallet. I think it's like a steel wallet or something, or steel copper, or whatever those. I've never used these things. I try to use it, but uh, it's not my thing. Whatever. If it's your thing, cool. And I figured with that one, we'll call this a fourth package. We're going to do the 
Leatherman, which was donated to the channel. This is the Le Leatherman Signal. Um, what else? Is this one. Uh, this Artisan. I did a regrind on it, so you're getting a little bit of my flavor. I didn't necessarily do it for um, practicality. I did it for practice because I was trying to do this recurve, and I was trying to do this nice sweep in on both sides. So that's just a little practice kind of thing I did for this Gavco, but uh, not my flavor, but hey, we're going in here. Uh, and then this was also doing a knife. So I guess all these pretty much except for that wallet were, well, I guess I bought that one too, but I bought it just in practice. Uh, San, San U. This is donated by Denise for a giveaway. Uh, don't even know what model this is. So we'll do a fourth package. So there you go. Three of those other ones, and we'll call this a fourth package. I'll do this with a bunch of stickers and stuff like that. So that's your 95% gift or uh, giveaway packages. Now, winding all that up, you're probably like, well, damn, what the hell is he going to do for a 5% if you're doing that for 95%? I know I'm a little crazy. If you watch the channel long enough, you're going to know I'm a little crazy, right? <clears throat> so I have two of these. And I have one of these that kind of sort of made me think, why don't I do an epic giveaway? So, forest giveaway, forest tanks, because American flags, and we're about to throw in some American bruisers now. These are from a 5% bros. So, you got to choose which one you want to be in, right? So, you, you can win one of those other packages or this one, right? So, this is just going to be the Hank. I might throw in a couple stickers or something. And your choice between the Skike, this is, a, this is actually number one. Let me get the patch real quick. So, number one of the 2.5s, number one, all black. So, black Skype, number one. I have my other Skype. I'm probably going to reblade this one after a while, but I have the other Skype, and I just kind of prefer the more, well, it's already customized, put it that way. And if you know me long enough, you'll know that I pretty much customize everything I have, and I've almost customized this so many damn times. But I haven't. I resisted. <clears throat> All right. And your choice between the Skike or Centurion Marauder H. And it's only Centurion basically because it has this laser engraving and this little funky clip with that symbol, whatever that means. On the end of that, it's probably something for the Centurions. I'm not in to all that kind of stuff, but I imagine it's somewhat collectible. I got this one from Five Door on a trade a while back. <clears throat> I got a choice here between these two uh, and if you know bruisers you know neither one of these are inexpensive knives so you choose which one you want i don't care i think collectability wise they're probably about equal the medford's more popular the skyx more uh rare but, but also valuable so uh, you make the choice right <clears throat> so uh that's the packages as a whole uh, hope you like something about what you see in here and then maybe dir direct it one way or the other so I guess total we got five packages. So you have four chances to win if you're a 95 percenter. And one chance to win if you're a five percenter. Because I'm thinking a lot less people are going to be a five percenter than going to be the 95 percenters. Which is kind of fine. That's fine. I, I'm That's why I did it the way I did it. I just want my Bruises Brothers to have options. And I believe even like a uh, discerning collector like my bros Steve and Steve. Um, either one of them would probably like to have either one of these knives. So I kind of want everybody to be in this giveaway. So if you're on the fence, like, hey, man, I want to support Dave, but I don't want to take one of his knives, please enter the giveaway, man. You get a chance to win this one or this one. Come on, man. Like, I get it if you don't want the 95% stuff, or maybe you are a 95% or you want that kind of stuff, but please enter the giveaway. Uh, let's blow this thing up make it huge. All right. All right, so let's wrap this thing up. Uh I don't know how to do random number generators. So I might have to take your name, put it on a list manually and give you a number. And then I might have to draw a number to make, to line up with that list. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might do the cars, depending on how many people are in here. Maybe do dice. I don't know. This kind of stuff, the, the making it fair kind of thing. I might have to enlist like, I don't know, maybe Javon will help me or somebody, but I don't really know how to do that kind of shit. Like that many people don't usually join my uh, giveaways. Maybe it won't be hardly anybody. Maybe I'm thinking... It won't be. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a ton of people. I'm going to try to make it as fair as possible. Put it that way. But you got from this Saturday to next Sunday is when I'm going to do the draw. So if you're not in Sunday morning, Sunday morning is when I got to do paperwork. So I got to have at least some prep time to make sure I don't miss anybody. Right. So if you're not in Sunday, let's do let's do Saturday, next Saturday at midnight. If you're not in at Saturday at midnight, you can't get in. So it's basically open for a week, a little over a week. Right. Um, uh, I want you to write 95 with a percent style sign. <clears throat> or 5%, you know, 5 and then percentile sign. 
Uh, and that's pretty much all I needed you to know. Like, if you want to comment something else, like, Dave, you've done lost your mind. You're giving away multiple thousands of dollars worth of knives. Yeah, I know. Right. Go ahead. That's fine. We're good with that. Um, but, yeah, I might have lost my mind. But I want it to be a ripple effect. You're agreeing that you get a knife and you're going to give a knife. Honor system. I don't care how you do it. Just do it, right? So we got five, five huge packages to me. I hope you guys think so. Uh, and hopefully that ripples out into at least five more going into somewhere else community and hell, maybe no. But when one of those people will give away a knife and we'll go another ripple out. But it'd be really cool for me. Um, but we're gonna call it there. Uh, if y'all are regular viewers of the channel, I'll do my normal video tomorrow. If time permits, everything going like that. I gotta meet Scotch and Things later this afternoon along with Kevin and some other buddies of his. <clears throat> and um, I'll probably recap that. Somebody asked me to make a video on it. But man, when you're meeting bros and you only got a few hours, you're just going to hang out and do your thing. You're not going to make a video. So that's it. 95%, 5%. Put it in the comments. Later, y'all.